Hi everyone, so in this video we will learn how to check if our object is empty or not using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link to our style sheet. Add the script file at the bottom, which is script.js. We need one div element here. One button. Let's make it check. We need one h1 element. Let's make it result save it go to style sheet select body element text align will be center select div element display will be inline block select button display will be inline block padding will be 10 pixels and 20 pixels Save it. Open this file in the browser. And this is the output. Now let's try to understand how it will actually work. I will create one object in the JavaScript file. And on the click of this check button, I want to verify if it is empty or not. If it is empty, I want to show true here. If it is not, I want to show false here. So let's go to JavaScript file. Select the button first, which is check. Select h1 element, let's make it result. We need an object, so let's make it user. And it will have one property name, let's make it Peter. Add event listener to the button, which is click. This is the handler function. Now there are various ways to verify if our object is empty or not, but I will show you a very simple approach. So let's do this. So it will be result.inner text and here we'll try to get the keys first of this object using object.keys method. We'll pass the object here. Then there's a length property. If this length is equal to zero, that means it is empty. So we'll set the text true. If it is not, We'll set it false. Save it. Go to browser. Now when you will click on the check button, you will get false because there is a property name here. Okay. Uh, let me remove it. Now we have empty object. Save it. Go to browser. Click. Now it's true. So that's it. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.